Double trouble. Ooh, that's a big one. All right, well, good morning. I'm pretty sure all you can see is the glowing light. I'm on the hunt for some Okule. I've caught two so far. We had a pretty good storm last night. Today was questionable. So hopefully uh, I'll be safe. All right, I'll take some pressure off. Stay on. Mahi size ones. All right, I have, uh, I have five pieces of bait. I have two Okule and three Opelu. Two of those are pretty small. I'm going to throw one of those out now. See if there's any mahis around. It's perfect mahi size. But we'll see what happens. Small one. Nice size one. Alright, I'm going to run two baits. Since I caught more, I have a small one out, and then I'm going to put a larger one. He got nicked. All right. Let's see what you can find for me. All right. Right by this buoy. Still on not very big. Oh, it may came off. He looked very small. Oh. Take it. Maybe a five pounder. Enough to make a sandwich. He needs to wear out. Where's my other line? It's right there, okay. Right in the eye. Uh, maybe four or five pounder. Bigger. Okay. Well, I feel head shakes. I'm seeing lots of marks. It's shaking now. Maybe a shibi, maybe an aku, maybe a shark. Who knows? Oh, it's Kava Kava. Oh no. No, it's in the other line. Oh. Oh shit. Just don't want that flying off and getting me, me in the head. <laughs> Dangerous. 
you're there. This. Come on. Come on. Double hook up. Double mahi. Double trouble. Oh, that's a big one. All right. Woo. All right, we got two mahis on. I think this is the big one. There's a small one on the other one. about this one first. All right. <laughs> this is going to be a mess can keep them untangled. I think this is under. All right, so this one is. This one is here. All right, okay, let me get over here. Hopefully prevent these guys from getting crossed. I don't know if they're tangled or not. He's still on. All right, is it under or over? I can't tell. It's, oh no, it is tangled. How am I, how is this tangled? Let's see, is that the right way? Nope. Is this the right way? Yep, all right. This is only a single hook. This had the Akule on it. That's a nice size one. Oh, the other one's right below it. I see it. All right. Oh, you're not ready yet. Okay, okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. That's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. All right. He's there. You still on? Probably not. All right. Well, I got one of them. The big one. That's good. Oh, came off. I was worried about that. All right. Let me throw another one out. I'm gonna throw them out on wire just because I have this ready. Swim, buddy. All right, probably 20 pounds, close to that. 18 to 20, nice size, beautiful fish, great eating. Another mahi. Yeah. gonna get so tangled.
spider web over here. Way to lose a fish. Jesus, this damn my spider web in me. Man, this guy is full of energy. belly oh god what a mess all right all right you stay here now let's see this guy bait. I have three mahis and the kava kava and I dropped my knife in the ocean. So uh, fun. All right well I got four mahis in the bag and the kava kava. Uh, my GoPro I forgot to turn it off and uh, that battery died and I switched the battery with the front camera and I did it again. Uh, with all the excitement, I forgot to turn them off and then the battery died. So I am out still, I'm trolling um, an Opelu and a dead one. Um, heading in, I'm still a couple miles out in 300 feet of water, so you never know. Uh, but it was a good day so far. The wind's picked up as the forecast said, so just taking my time getting in. Shoots, laters. All right, well, we're gonna try to weigh one of these right now for dinner. I was gonna do one of the small ones. All right, about a, I think this was a four or five pounder. You can see I cogged it right in the gut. So that's fun. Okay, so I am not uh, an expert by any means on this. In fact, I'm wearing this glove because I filleted my knuckle last year really bad. The knife went all the way through, opened it up. Uh, it's filleting a mahi and was just careless. So, it's just something to be careful with. So, I got this little chainmail glove. Seems to be okay now. Above. Separate that. 
Every once in a while I'll get under one of these and it messes it up. See, this is where I gaffed him, or cogged him. I did not bleed this fish. Because right after I caught it, I caught the kava kava and I was battling that and forgot to bleed it out. Not the prettiest, but that should be good for fish tacos. And if I can cut out the eggs, my neighbor likes to feed the eggs to the fish she breeds. Okay. And then my other friend likes the heads. All right, that's the egg. That's the head. I'm gonna do is try to get some of this I try to get some of this blood off and then just portion it up Just wrap them up, paper towels. Try not to let the fish meat touch plastic. I'll be back with the recipe. Okay, so this uh, fish taco recipe is super easy. Basically, you need your fish. Don't don't laugh at me, but these turn out good. Take some taco seasoning, uh, avocado, lettuce. Um, I'll have cheese. Whoosh, cheese. Uh -oh. I normally do is I just cut out the bloodline, slice it up a bit. That should be enough. And then what I do, looks good. I don't generally use a whole, whole packet, but sometimes I do. I guess it just depends. I like to make it about that consistency. And then what I'll do. Just cut out the blood meat and the bones. There. And then this. Same thing. Then I just kind of cut it in chunks. No rhyme or reason to the chunks. There's no bones. Okay, now that that's all cut up, just kind of massage it in here. And you don't really need to let it marinate that long. It's really just a quick cook because these are small pieces and it'll just kind of sear with that flavor on it. Tortillas. But I like to. Nice and hot. 
I use extra virgin olive oil. Just coat the pan. And you'll notice pretty much all my ingredients come from Costco. I should do a cooking channel just on Costco recipes. I can dice up the lettuce real quick. That's the big piece for my daughter. And they don't take long to cook. A couple minutes on each side, really. And of course, the avocado. That's the part. And when they flake apart like that, it's done. And for plating, I'm just take a couple pieces. cheese, a lettuce, a little avocado, and then this stuff is the bomb. I like the medium more than the mild. A little bit of that. And then the industrial size Cholula sauce. That's how we do it. Sweet.